Hey guys, Jonathan with you once again. Welcome back to The Daily Message, my friend. So glad you're here. I got a new hat. Pretty excited. It says Black Sheep. Today's message kind of is a little bit about being a black sheep. Let's do it. Just before we start, please hit that subscribe button. Makes a big difference. Book me to speak. Everything's here in the description notes. Uh, if you like what you're hearing, leave a comment. That's the housekeeping. Let's jump in. The other day, I talked about a great quote from the theatre performer, the theatre teacher, Uta Hagen. She talked about the need to just be different, to that if you don't accept your unique abilities and talents, you're going to end up living a life that's essentially mediocre. Her words, not mine. Go back and check that previous episode. Today, I want to share a quote with you from Chris Brady. I just uh, got his new book. It's called Rascals. And it's a book about people who've really forged their own path. And sometimes in life, I think you'll agree that we get these times where we kind of get confirmation of a message. I came across Uta Hagen's comment. The next thing I know last night, I'm reading uh, Chris Brady's work and I get this same reinforcement about sort of the need to be authentic, to really unleash into the world what you have for the world while you still can because the clock eventually stops. I want to share this quote with you. Let's go. Doesn't it seem that the most interesting characters in a novel, play or history tale are the ones who walk their own walk, go their own way and seem to resist the compliancy pressures of the world? Boom! Compliancy pressures of the world. If you're a regular viewer, listener on the podcast version, links under here, you know I talk about that a lot. The homogeneity project. The way that as much as advertising and marketing likes to suggest to us that we are all these free-thinking individuals with the wind blowing through our hair, driving convertibles through twisting mountain passes... The fact is that advertising only works by homogenizing people, that the late stage capitalism that we're living through has to homogenize this. It has to make what we call compliancy pressures, right? It has to create a world where we need to get as many possible people to think the same things as possible because then we can sell to them. So I would say that from the youngest age, these compliancy pressures are pretty real, right? In in the previous episode, I talked about good luck at high school trying to walk your own path, right? You know... (laughs) all of us had some experiences did we not about how well that worked but what I'm learning as I get older is that sooner or later there's this imperative of actually unleashing into the world what we really have to bring you know we're not coming back right we get this one shot so there's this kind of extraordinary mental discipline required to stay positive to watch that internal self-dialogue and have the courage to be who we are I'm speaking tomorrow I've got about 300 people in the room and It's taken me 20 years on stage to begin to slowly just back myself and to really try and bring what I have to bring for an audience. You know, some people get to it much earlier. Look at the great performers, the great presenters. They just have this interior confidence that what they're about to say is really helpful. Now, whatever career you're in, whatever stage of life you're in, you could be you know, a a grandmother, you could be somebody who's, you know, in their late teens, all of us have to try and live the phase that we're in as effectively as possible by trying to be as authentic as possible. How do you do it? We want to make this practical. Just look for the self-censorship. Constantly look for the ways in which you are self-censoring, in which you are not saying what you think. It'll be fear-based. Behind that self-censoring, I'm not talking about arrogance or rudeness or aggressiveness. I'm talking about behind it will be self-censoring, which will be fear-based, which will be, I can't say this because, I can't do this because. So push back against that. Um, So thank you to Chris Brady for the book Rascals. Thank you for this reminder again, for me at least, that we just got to, we got to do you, right? You got to do you, I got to do me. That's how we change the world. We got to bust out of this complacency. Personal opinion, you look at a lot of what's happened in the last few years with, you know, the behavior of you know governments and technocrats and this whole thing that has just locked people in their homes and just changed the planet friends that was a crushing thing it was homogeneity it was forcing people into a box and you can deal with that you can put a comment here and say i'm crazy but i think we're at a pretty un- difficult moment in human history where compliance and groupthink are increasingly dangerous there's a lot of nuance in the world there's a lot of individuality there's a lot of ways that we can all bring our unique genius to bear on the problems in the world saying this kind of thing i might lose a few viewers yeah what can we do huh we just gotta really try and live well live decently 
and then live in the truth and then try and care for, inspire, respect for, and care for each other and just bring the best of our talents. All right, that's it for me today. Please make sure you've subscribed. You can check out how to book me to speak. Everything else is there. My name's Jonathan Doyle. This has been The Daily Message. You, my friend, are going to be listening to this black sheep again tomorrow.